in this video, we are going to present return to sport decisions to be made after an acute lateral ankle sprain injury based on the PASS framework. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. Lateral ankle sprains are among the most common musculoskeletal injuries in athletes and recurrence rates are high. Making decisions to clear an athlete to return to sport can be difficult and should be made based on relevant criteria. Unfortunately, for return to sport after an acute lateral ankle sprain, up till now no clear criteria have yet been established, which may explain the high recurrence and prevalence of ongoing symptoms, instability and or giving way. This paper tried to fill this gap by conducting a Delphi study. Health and exercise professionals working with athletes in sports in which acute lateral ankle sprains are among the most prevalent injuries, were invited to participate in this Delphi study. Return to sport was defined as being sanctioned for unrestricted training and cleared for match play and competition selection. Three survey rounds were held, in which the percentage of agreement was calculated for each criterion for return to sport that was proposed. Consensus was defined as more than 70% of experts agreeing to include or exclude the proposed criterion. 250 experts were invited to participate in this consensus development and almost 80% agreed to participate. After three survey rounds, 16 of the 35 assessment items presented to panelists reached consensus to be included in the return to sports decision-making process and 17 assessment items reached consensus to not be included. Two assessment items, intraarticular swelling and static postural control and balance, did not reach consensus after the third and final round of the Delphi survey process. The items to be considered in the return to sport decision-making process were classified into five domains. Pain, ankle impairments, athlete perception, sensory motor control and sport functional performance. Pain severity during sport participation and over the last 24 hours should be considered as essential criteria in the domain pain. For ankle impairments, range of motion and muscle strength, endurance and power are to be evaluated. Considering the athlete's perception, the perceived stability of the ankle and the confidence or reassurance the athlete feels together with the psychological readiness, should be taken into account. A good proprioception and dynamic postural control are necessary items belonging to the sensory motor control domain. Regarding the sport and functional performance criteria, hopping and jumping, agility and sport-specific activities should be well tolerated. The final criterion for clearing an athlete to return to sport is the ability to complete a full training session. As a great variety of sports were considered for this study and because experts from different geographical locations were recruited, the results are likely to be widely generalizable. Unfortunately, no clear definition of cutoff values for these proposed measures have been defined. If you want to read more about this article, we recommend that you check our blog article on our website. Alright, thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in reading more research reviews, we post one every Monday on physiotutors.com. On our website, you can find a ton of relevant physiotherapy content. Check it out at the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.